What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our Big Ten channel. We're going to give you our early 2024 projected record for the Michigan Wolverines. And keep in mind, this is very, very early. Uh, not an official prediction. That will come much, much later. But uh, just an early projection based off of the schedule, how tough the schedule is, and how good we kind of expect each team to be. Here were some of the projections from 2023 for Michigan you see the 12-0 record in the regular season. Our projection, so when we did our projected record like you're about to see here in this video, uh, that had them at 11-1. My prediction was 12-0. I did pick Nish Michigan to win the national championship last season. Athlon had them at 11-1. The over-under was at 10.5. So high expectations for Michigan last season. They lived up to those expectations. And again, just like we predicted, they went 12-0, and they did move, go on to win the national championship. So, again, here is the schedule for this upcoming season, and we're going to go through and do the projection now. Uh, I have a formula that I use. This is, again, not an official prediction. This is not – our predictions won't come until way later, until after spring. And uh, this is just a projection based off of this formula. I kind of put all the teams into tiers uh, just based off of how they finished last season and what they have coming back. So, Michigan – for example, they were a Tier 1 team, obviously, last season, but they lost so much that they did drop to a Tier 2, whereas like Oregon and Texas and Ohio State, those are still Tier 1 teams. And again, it, it has a lot to do with last year, and that's why this is very early. But you can look at some teams like Michigan and Washington and see that they're losing their head coaches and losing a ton of talent, and you can kind of drop those teams a tier. So let's get into it here. We'll start with the, uh, the scale that we use. It'll be in the red if it's less than 20%, in the green if it's over 80%, orange will be 20 to 29%, blue 71 to 80%. Those are games where uh, I feel like the team is going to be favored by double digits. Um, and then 30 to 39, 61 to 70, those are games where I think it'll be about a, a 6 to 10 point spread kind of in there. And then the 50-50 games, those are games where I think it'll be uh, less than a touchdown spread. And again, just putting the games, the teams into the tiers that I put them in, uh, it's, it comes out with this formula. So we'll start with the easy wins. Fresno State, Arkansas State should be games that Michigan should win, even with the roster turnover. Uh, they will be favored by uh, two touchdowns or more, probably closer to three touchdowns in both of these games. You know, these are respectable group of five teams, so I wouldn't expect Michigan to go out, Michigan to go out there and beat them, especially Fresno State in the opener by. 30 points, but they should clearly be favorites in both of those games. But really, that's the only gimme games uh, when you look at the rest of the schedule. Games in blue now, uh, we got Minnesota, Michigan State, Indiana, Northwestern. Indiana would be in the green if that game was at home, but the home and away definitely plays into my formula. And uh, that game being on the road does drop it into the blue. I think they'll be about a touchdown favorite in that game. And again, double-digit favorites against Minnesota, Michigan State, and Northwestern all of those games coming at home. So those are games that Michigan should win. It would be very surprising if they lost, but I'm not going to say that those are guaranteed wins um, in those four games. So let's move on next to the games where I think they'll be favored by about a touchdown. we got USC and Illinois, and this is based off of how USC finished last year. This is a team that is kind of tough to predict right now. Uh, you can look at some of their issues, and if they don't get those fixed, then yeah, I think Michigan would be favored by about a touchdown. But I really feel like USC has a chance, at least, to be much, much better. And this could wind up being more like a 50-50 game. But it's very early. Again, we do this very early in the season before spring. And we'll see, again, what USC looks like. That that one is, is definitely one that could change. Illinois, that one could actually go the other way. I could see that being a game where Michigan's favored by more. We'll see what this Illinois team looks like based off of, you know, Brett Bielema's track record and what they did a couple of years ago. You expect them to be a decent team and the game is on the road, but that one might wind up actually being more of a game in the blue. So those kind of going in two different directions as we move through the offseason, potentially we'll see. And then uh, you look at games where I think they're going to be an underdog. I think that's going to be Ohio State. I think they will be uh, about a touchdown underdog. Eight-point underdog, something like that. It's a rivalry game. It's the game. I know they've won it a couple of years in a row, but it's still it's going to be tough for, for Michigan when you look at the two rosters. You look at um, actually three years in a row, by the way. But anyways, you look at the roster for these two teams, and Ohio State is 
they just have a, they're in a much better position. They have a much better roster right now. They don't have all the co- coaching turnover. Um, and I realize Sharon Moore has been at Michigan, but still, it's it's a little bit different than having Jim Harbaugh there. And it just Ohio State, with what they bring back, uh, they should be a better team. Plus, they're playing at home. So that's why, again, Ohio State for me is a Tier 1 team. Michigan is a Tier 2 team. And this would be a 50-50 game if it was at Michigan because it's on the road. That does drop it there into the yellow. So that means Texas, Washington, and Oregon are all games that are... 50 50 type games these are games that i think could really go either way and if they're going to have a special season they're going to get back to the college football playoff they're going to have to win let's say they lose to ohio state they're going to have to win two of these three games more than likely which is going to be tough texas and oregon again i think are going to be better teams than michigan but they're at home so they'll have a chance and and i think michigan has a chance to be better than washington but that game's on the road so these are the swing games the games that could determine the season or that will determine the season in my opinion and then you've got usc in there which could be a tough game as well Uh, so when you put all this together you actually get a projected record of eight and four which is a pretty big drop and no that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to lose to texas and washington and oregon and ohio state and you can't look at this and say well they're going to lose every game that that's close to a 50 50 game well no you have to look at the games in the blue the odds would say maybe they slip up in one of those games usc and illinois I would say they're probably going to lose one of those games, and then you, you win one or two of the 50-50 games. So you average it all out, and uh, you do get an 8-4 and four projection with the formula that I use. Now, if I was going to project this right now, I'd probably go with 9-3 and three, uh, between Texas, Oregon, and Washington. I think that they uh, win one of those games potentially and lose maybe two, and then Ohio State's probably a loss. Uh, but then again, you have to look at USC. That's a game they could possibly slip up on and so if you're looking at texas usc washington oregon those four games they split those four and they lose to ohio state they could be nine and three so i would again if i was just using my brain to do this and and give you a very early prediction i'd probably go more with nine and three but the formula that we use does put michigan at eight and four so a big drop from 12 and 0 to eight and four do you guys agree do you disagree about the wolverines here with a very early projection let me know your thoughts down in the comments below